Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I am so excited for this video because today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make this juice I have here in my hands. I first started taking this juice when I was 12 years old and I was diagnosed with kidney disease. I took this juice two years straight and I know that's a lot of work but thankfully I had a wonderful mother that woke up at 5 a.m. to make this juice and from taking this juice I was able to see results guys. I was on a ton of medications and over time the doctor started to take me off of them because I was seeing results from this juice and not really any from the medication. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I hope you guys try it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you do try it. But before we continue, I want to quickly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly videos. Also, if you guys find this video helpful or if you guys like this recipe, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Now let's begin. For this recipe, you really don't need much. It's super simple. All I have is some blueberries, strawberries, aloe vera, and some blackberries mixed with raspberries. As you guys see, I have the aloe vera soaked in water and you guys are probably wondering why. I do this because my mom did this. She said that aloe vera contains something that we shouldn't be consuming on the everyday basis. So if you remove the aloe vera completely from the water, you will notice that the water is purple. I forgot to show you guys here on the video. Anyways, you soak it 24 hours before actually eating the aloe vera. As you see, I just put the berries in first and I blend that together. Now I'm just going to strain it because I want to get all the seeds and the fiber out. I want the pure berry juice. Now we don't like to waste so I put a little bit of water, just blended it up and put it back in, strained that to make sure I got every little bit of juice I can. Now we're going to add the aloe vera. I always cut the spiky parts off and then cut it into like these blocks and I find it easier that way so I could just peel off the top and then with the spoon I go in and I scrape it. In this juice I am only going to be putting half a stem. The stems are really long so half is more than enough. Now that our aloe is all in the mixer, we are going to put the juice and we're going to blend that together now. Here I go scraping the bowl again because like I said, I don't want to waste anything. Berries and doing this every day adds up and it can be a little expensive. And our juice is done. Let me know if you guys try this juice and what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.